What's up guys, welcome back to another video, hope you're all doing well today. We are back on some MX Simulator today, and we are on round 14, I think it is, of the uh, the AMA Super Cross Championship, and we are on Atlanta. Now, I won't lie, I've done a handful of laps on this track already, and it's definitely needed. Um, there's probably going to be a whole lot of crashes in this video, because I, I don't know if it's just me. Uh, please let me know down below if you agree, but I think this track is by far the hardest one of the year. I'm not sure what it is about it. I think it's to do with like some of the larger jumps, like Supercross Triple and the massive doubles. Just really hard, in my opinion, to to time it consistently. Like this this jump right here, for example. I thought I was going at quite a <laughs> quite a reasonable speed there, and I just massively over jump it. Um, and if I'm honest, I think it just goes back to what I say all the time in just how OP 450s are in this game. Like the amount of speed that you have is actually ridiculous. Um, but I will try my very best to uh, not be crashing every section. I'm going to check up here because, <laughs> oh my god, you need to like triple quad to get a good run through the whoops here. And uh, yeah, I'm not sh like it, it's. I feel like it's a massive like step up in difficulty this track compared to the others. And obviously that's not down to uh, tr the track creators and our effort by any means. That's purely like, like they've just replicated what's on the track map. You know they can't they can't do anything about that. Uh, one thing I did notice, and I've seen in the Discord as well, is you can actually send this finish line and downside this double here if you wanna, for for some reason just start an absolute heater of a lap. But that that exists. Um, the sand as well. Still don't know what to do in the sand. I'll come up to the sand right now. So go triple here and then triple again, and we got a split lane. However, I'm convinced there's a way of making this fast. This, oh oh that went bad. Like little some little scummy lines, you know, up through the through the bows and stuff. I need to watch a video and see what see what people are doing. Um, I actually I was I was about surprisingly when this track was released, like the password was released, just ahead of the RF race, and part of me was contemplating like, do I go and sign up and see how it goes? Do I like just download the track now and see what sort of lap times I run? And I did. I literally I waited about for the uh, password to release. I, I think they get about half hour or so of practice. I, I could be completely mistaken. I mean, I didn't sign up regardless because I had done maybe three laps and I was like, no, there's there's no chance. I'm not even going to qualify for this. Oh my God, I was struggling bad. Like, you think I'm going slow right now? Oh, every single jump I was crashing on, it was uh, it was a bit unreal. But um, the Nationals grind is still on. I just thought I would uh, bless some of your uh, feeds with a little bit more soupy. Oh, can I get this quad? Oh, I'm going to crash here, aren't I? Oh my god, legs of steel. This uh, something that I also still haven't worked out yet on this game is the inconsistencies of the crashes that I get from casing slash overjumping things. Uh, I've, I've landed the triple to my right here before the long sand section absolutely perfectly, and I've still crashed. Yeah, I can uh, face a jump like that and be absolutely fine. But am I going to crash here? No, that was actually okay as well. Okay, I've maybe majorly overshot that though. Let's spin her around. I I want to try this inside up here. I've not done. That, yeah, oh, I'm not going to stop, I'm not going to stop. Oh, it's fine. So we go double, triple. Oh, can you then send it into the sand like this? Whoa, up and over. Oh my god. Oh my, keep it going, keep it going. Oh, it's all right. I'd rather take a little tip over than that than a, than a seven second crash. So we move, it's not too bad. But yeah, the national grind has still uh, been continuing. I've been trying to do, even if it's just like five laps or something a night on some random like gp tracks just to keep the oh my god what am i doing just to keep the what's it like muscle memory there just trying to keep the, the fingers fresh to know what i'm doing i i have no desire to use a 250 on supercross i won't lie i do not enjoy it whatsoever i quite like the <laughs> the cheat codes of the 450 just being able to put the power down and seat bounce something basically from a standstill and still be able to triple into a section it's really really nice and uh makes my life a lot easier i do have the uh, the utmost respect for the 250 guys i've been there i know what it's like i've i've done it <laughs> uh those are actually my only championships as well as on a 250 but when you uh, when you ride a 450 for so long it's uh it's very difficult to oh my god <laughs> just randomly getting kicked over the handlebars it's very very difficult to drop back down uh, I feel like going the other way is fine, so going 250 to 450 is easier than going 450 to 250, just because of like how hard you have to rail the corners on 250 to get the big lines in, um, and I, I just find it I find it quite impressive. Um, but nationals-wise, 250 is absolutely fine, uh, should be no dramas at all. Oh, if I haven't jumped it again, screw it, we're going for it anyway. Oh, that oh, I had to, well, rule one, I broke rule one of MX Simulator, which is don't touch the front brake in the air, and I pay the price. Okay. Yeah, any time you touch the front brake in the air on this game, it just completely stalls you out in the air. You know, you can't you can't control anything from that point on. But I feel like I needed to just to get the uh, 
get the back brake, back brake, get the uh, the front wheel down a little bit more. Please don't fall offside. Please, please, please. Ah, oh, you see what I mean? Like other videos so far, I feel like I've not been too dog shit. This track, maybe it's just one of them that I don't gel with. I don't know. You have to let me know if you uh, if you enjoy it or not. All right, let's try and get this inside line here. The, I can kind of do ruts right now where I've been practicing nationals. These long, like, peaky rhythm sections, however, not it. They're not doing it for me. I want to try and hit this right-hand side in the sand because I've not done that yet. Oh, I can now see why I've not done that. Jesus Christ, could they have... They could have made them a little bit more equal. I won't lie. That left-hand side in the sand is much, much quicker than the right, I want to say. Oh, I'm going to crash here, aren't I? Oh! And I, I think what it is as well is uh, I recently I lowered my FOV recently as well so my judgment of speed is off a little bit i want to say so when i'm hitting these big super cross triples and such i feel like i'm going a certain speed to clear it and then i either end up over jumping or casing and it's just a it's a flow thing for me right now which i'm struggling with and just and, and that always comes in time of, of playing this game you know you need to put in the hours on this game oh i might be able to get this caught out here huh, stretch it there we go see I, something like that i would not have been able to do at that speed on a 250 they just haven't got the oomph. I'm going to flatland this again, aren't I? Oh my god. I feel like I'm just coasting it in like four, third, fourth gear and it's still landing so, so flat. I do like this sand. Nice getting a little bit of a uh, rhythm going through that sand section. Let's try and check up a little bit here. Nope. I'm going to check up so I can double out. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Right. Smooth run through your whoops, please. Just nice and gentle. Nice and slowly. Don't need to set the world alight. Just need to get through them. That double's probably the only one that I've hit consistently so far. The rest of them I've just absolutely butchered. Right, then I'm going to do it. I'm sending it. Hold on. Hold on tight. Or up. Go on, get it first time. First time. Do it, do it, do it. No! Oh, that was so close. You see what I mean, though? And I'm sure that if you had uh, somewhat of a decent suspension, you'd be okay. And Oh, actually, let me take 10 seconds quickly, because people keep asking. So, these are my current set, uh, view settings. So, 85 FOV. Uh third person four and then 12 uh if i go to my bike setup this is my advance currently just feel free to pause it i'm not gonna hang around too long and then finally this is my suspension so i've messed around with it a little bit just on national so i'm not even running like a proper supercross well, i'm not a supercross dedicated setup at the moment but then again i don't really know what i'm doing i just move the numbers around until something feels somewhat decent so um never i, I would say don't trust me <laughs> try and find someone that actually knows what they're talking about when it comes to setups rather than myself um but off the back of my last video i had uh, a couple of people have slid into my messages like trying to give me suspensions and stuff and i don't know um i don't do a whole lot of testing really so it's quite hard for me to go back and forth between settings and kind of compare lap times to each other or how the bike reacts at certain points of the race I, I just kind of ride and adjust myself to the to the track and the conditions rather than adjusting the suspension which is probably not not the best thing if you want to be somewhat competitive you should probably be good at both you know adjusting to the track and having a setup that can uh, that can do it for you as well can I can I get this again no oh my god what a horrible kick that gave me and I feel like the jumps on this track as well they're a lot more I feel like they're a lot peakier than the other ones have been like they send, definitely send you a lot higher and I feel like they could also be but they're also spaced together a little bit closer possibly maybe that's why I'm having so much grief but I'm um, I'm definitely lacking definitely lacking something right now the, the flow is not quite there but I suppose it every now and then it's probably I mean it's probably not quite nice it's probably <laughs> frustrating for you fast guys sitting here saying oh come on why can't you just hit that it's really easy um but for some of you as well who maybe might not be the best at sim it's probably quite nice actually seeing me crash more often and having that as like relatable kind of similar to my IRL stuff I would guess where in my mind I think why would anybody want to watch this I'm I'm not like Jeff Walker speed for example um, yet people still do seem to enjoy it they like seeing the progression there and oh, exciting news as well a little bit off topic here but um, I'm signed up for it's it's a really weird it's like a one-off event uh, made by or made uh, that is had been created by Jeff Perrett and he is uh, quite a I'd say an important motocross figure here in the UK and it's like essentially like a hill climb event and that's going on in June time and when I say hill climb it's not like you bloody americans where you've got swing arms that are three times the length as normal with like a thousand cc engines it's nothing to that extent it's purely just like a one-off fun day i mean there's so many classes you can go you can go and take a moped to ride if you want to 
uh, there's a class for that as well. Uh, but yeah, I'll just, I'm just going to be taking my 250 as normal, and it should be good fun. It's a little bit of a trek for me. Uh, I think it's about a three to four hour-ish drive, so I might have to go up and uh, stay the night before. But it's been a long time since I've done anything kind of stupid if that makes sense i don't mean stupid in a bad term by any means but i remember when i was younger like on my 85 and stuff and when i would race consistently we'd have these weekends every now and then where you'd have like a fun race and i remember uh putting on a, a mankini over top of my gear and pumping up some you know like the latex mechanics gloves uh i remember pumping those up and putting them under my body armor to like look like tits and uh just trying to get a bit of fun back you know because i feel like at motocross in the uk at the moment is probably an all-time low uh, there's not a whole lot that really goes on so it's it's nice that jeff's trying to kind of rekindle some of that and put on an ent entertaining uh, event so i'm planning on taking the gopro and recording it uh, i think how the whole format and stuff works is you get two or three practice runs um, you've got a certain amount of heats that you go through and then depending on how you do in them heats you might go through to a final or might not i mean i have not tried to properly launch a motocross bike in god knows how long because i've not done any races so i'm probably not going to do very well whatsoever out of the gate but we shall see it's meant to be a bit of fun at the end of the day and i'm sure you guys will enjoy watching it as well as i'll enjoy partaking in it as well and it'll be quite nice to get behind a start gate regardless after so long even if it's not an actual proper race it's just a bit of fun like trying to blast a bike up a hill a couple of times but uh, i think that'll do it for me for this video i apologize that the riding's probably not been to the same quality as you uh, usually have in these but i just wanted to showcase just how difficult i'm finding this atlanta track and uh, i mean it, it goes to show just how much like time and effort and dedication the the higher level boys put into this game to be able to do this consistently because i wish i was still at that point i'm most definitely not and unfortunately i don't have the, the time anymore really to to spend committing myself to it so these uh these little scuff videos will have to do should i quad for to end the video i'm surprised that went so smoothly i thought i was going to case the shit out of that but yeah thank you everyone for watching i uh if you did enjoy it please do drop a like on the video it's really really appreciated and subscribe to the channel if you're new have a lovely rest of the day or obviously you're up to and until i catch you in the next video peace i'm working hard i'm sacrificing my life i'm sacrificing my mind i'm sacrificing my sanity but most importantly i'm sacrificing my time boy i feel fine i feel like i am a king honestly i can't complain even with faith that's the size of a grain of some salt i will still move a mountain and do what i want